And now a breaking news update. A deadly shooting inside celebrity pastor Joel Osteen's Texas church. A young child is in critical condition. The suspected shooter, a woman in her 30s, was shot and killed. It happened in Houston at Osteen's Lakewood Church. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos has the update from investigators and new video from inside. Well, Joe and Erica, among the victims, that five-year-old who tonight remains in critical condition. Now, the suspect in this case was a woman, police say, walked into the church with a long gun. And if she wasn't taken out when she was, could have caused a whole lot more damage. Cell phone video captures the terrifying moments after gunfire broke out inside Lakewood Church in Houston Sunday afternoon. The congregants seen running for their lives. A lot of yeah. shots, a lot of shots. I called my mom. The bullets were still repetitive and they were still going. Houston police say it was shortly before 2 p.m. when a woman in a trench coat, accompanied by a young child, entered the church and opened fire. Two security agents, both off-duty police officers, jumped into action. Both officers, the officer and agent, uh, engaged, uh, striking the female. Uh, she's deceased here on the scene. Unfortunately, a five-year-old kid was hit and is a critical condition. A 57-year-old man also suffered a gunshot wound to the leg. He's listed in stable condition. Police say the shooting happened between services, where foot traffic was nowhere near its peak of 45,000 for Sunday. Celebrity pastor Joel Osteen acknowledged that the situation could have ended a whole lot differently. It could have been a lot worse. Of course, we're devastated. I mean, this we've been here 65 years and have somebody shooting in your church. We're going to stand strong and we're going to move forward. Now, officials have not yet identified that suspect or revealed the relationship she had with that five-year-old. The officers involved in the shooting are right now put on administrative duty as the investigation gets underway. Reporting live in the control room, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News. Thank you, Andrew.